System test 26, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so starting at our main panel, we have a FOS speaker strobe. Now you're probably wondering, why the heck have I not done speaker strobe tests? Well, I finally taken apart a headphones um, and put speakers behind them. I'll make a whole video on how I made this speaker, um, which should be coming up in Premiere, I believe. But um, Anyway, you will see a video of this soon. Um, so this will be a speaker that's going to be playing a fire message from my computer right here. Um, so yeah, over here we have a first alert. Let's see. Model SA303. Um, pretty standard battery operator. I was going to put up the i3, just didn't have time to do so, unfortunately. Over here we have the Siemens UMCS, one of my favorite strobes that Siemens has ever made along with the UMHU series. Down here we have the can COP um, carbon monoxide detector. We will be testing that today along with the smoke detector and this pool station was, which is the Siemens MSM-K. To start off the test today, we're gonna be we're gonna be pulling this pool station or we're actually gonna we're gonna do things a bit differently. I'm thinking we're gonna probably key activate it today. So we're gonna start out by key activating this pool station. Here we go. Okay, so just so you guys know, um, this strobe is, by, by the way, so on 75 Canela. Um, just so you guys know, this system test will not be the one I said that was going to be coming out. There's another one with the MS5UD, which is going to be coming out next week. This was one that I had time to make, actually, um, in my spare time I had. But that device has come, and I will begin installing it tomorrow, and I will hopefully get it hooked up. Um, and then next week we'll do a test with the MS5UD. So now we are going to test the smoke detector. Three, two, one. Okay, there we go. Nice and standard. Unfortunately, I'm not going to smoke test it today. Unfortunately, due to um, I have a computer right here and I do not want to do something wrong with it or being that there's a speaker right there. I know that something might not go wrong, but you never know. I don't really want to do that with the computer. So next we're going to set off the CO detector. Okay, so we're not going to be resetting the pull station because I do not, I didn't pull the T-bar. So now we are going to reset the alarm. And yes, all those troubles are still there. I'm not planning on fixing that anytime soon since this is an older panel. Um, and yeah. So to finish off the test today, I think we are going to... I think we might actually pull the T-bar. I think we're going to pull it. Three, two, one. Strobe is still flashing. Let's see. All right, now we will reset the alarm. So once I get this, uh, now we're gonna simply reset it like this. And that's beeping because there's no resistor. Alright guys, I thank you for watching this video. Be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe with your friends. Um, 
I know that the video quality today is not the best. I'm in a different location filming today, but next time it should hopefully be a bit better. So with that being said, I thank you for watching this video. Be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe, and have a great day. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.